Russell Turner, uh, I think if you talk to the um, any of the coaches out west, they they consider him a you know a, a good coach, a, a basketball coach that they respect. Uh, they came in here and we beat him fairly decent amount of points. But they were huge. I remember that. They, they have a lot of size. Um, they are very good defensively. Um, and and they, they rebound the basketball. They're plus seven, I know, this year for that. But he, uh, you know, it, it's, it's – they have, I think it's eight or nine guys that played against us last year. And when I talked to him after – I said, why he had? If you looked at their schedule, they had like eight or nine road games in a, in about a nine get, ten game stretch. And I said, why are you doing that? And he says, because we're going to be really good next year, and I want home games. So you know, the, so now they won thirty games. Um, obviously, one at Texas A and M early in the year, one at St. Mary's. Um, you know, some some pretty good wins in in anybody's book. So uh, they're legit. It, it's uh, they're a good team, and he's a good coach and. You know, we're going to have to get ready to play. They're one of the tops in the country. Two-point field goal defense. Uh, I think they hold their opponents to its uh, high 30s, 40% from two. Um, and rebounding and their size will definitely be a concern. Bruce, I mean, you guys obviously know you're going to the tournament, and then you see your name come across the screen. Is, is there any sense of excitement or it's like, well, this is what we expect as business usual? Like, just for you, do you? Oh, I think this is, you know, to me, it's 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 for it's for the players, you know, to have them have that opportunity to earn it. Um, you know, it, it's it's always special. There's no doubt, it, you know, to to be part of it, to you know, sit here and watch with the guys. That I told them this is their reward for working hard since last April when we set goals and you know to get in there to get a better seed than we were a, la- a year ago. Um, you know, all the things. You know, now now what are you going to do with it? That that's the whole. Key. Is there any update on Dean? He's going to get examined tomorrow um, by the doctors, and then you know, hopefully, making some progress, and we'll see where where he's at. I, I, do, I don't know if the appointment's in the morning, or afternoon, but I know he's going in. Four seats seem fair to you. I always thought I, I thought we, you know, three to five. I, I said I think the other night. I, I don't study it as much as everybody else. Um, you know, obviously, if we would, you know, we would have won a couple of those games, probably Tulsa and a And M. You know, on the road, we probably would have been more of a three. But um, you know, I, I'm not sure our league got quite the respect that uh, it should have deserved. Uh, you know, I'm, but I, you know, those TCU, Texas, obviously, um, you know, it would have. It's kind of in between, and and I, it's interesting because I don't. We'll have to study it, see how much that net was a factor, you know, road games, things like that. Uh, Texas Tech gets the three. You know, their net's a lot higher, um, but they didn't play road games, you know, so I, I don't know. You know, and it's tit for tat, you know. I mean, it, you got to play somebody, and, and you got to play well. So that's what it comes down to. you got to have a good mental framework. Uh, we got till Friday, which is positive, I think, for us just to get a little more rest. We, can, we took off yesterday, today. Uh, some of the guys worked out that don't play a lot of minutes today. Tomorrow we'll do a lot of shooting weights, start watching uh, Irvine, and then practice Tuesday, Wednesday, and head out there and, and hopefully have good prep. Bruce, with the uh, – oh, go ahead. Uh, obviously, it goes without saying the importance of, of Bear and Cam just sitting in here. But can you put in the words maybe – what they're going to mean to you on this tournament run and, you know, putting they, – they had a couple off shooting performances of Big 12, just putting that behind and starting playing. Yeah, I mean, they've carried us. I mean, they're, you know, for for four years, they've been really important with Dean. You know, you throw X in the, in the mix for the last three, and, um, you know, those guys are really important. They have experience. We said after that – when we got the, you know, the, whatever the last four in, or if we were the last team in three, a couple of years ago, we got that experience to beat Wake, to go on and go to Sacramento, play Cincinnati. I, I said at the time it was it was so good not only to reward the seniors, Wes and DJ at that time, but also for the young guys to get a taste of it. And then they took the taste of it and they wanted more. They got the opportunity last year, took it a whole nother step. And but I think the thing we've emphasized and and I'm 
you know, really talk to them about. Every game is different. And that's that's something we've tried to teach and learn throughout the year. And you can't mentally say we're going to do this or that. Every game's different. The ball bounces different. Shots go in. They don't go in. But control what you can control. And that, that we better guard the heck out of people. We better uh, play our butts off. You know, in this case, we're going to have to rebound. Uh, you know, and then – uh, and then share the basketball. When we share the basketball, we're pretty good. Is there a team other than Irvine you played this year, last year, that a fan might say, oh, they remind me of? I don't know. I, I have to study them. I, I, I just remember last year they were very big. I thought they were well coached. Everyone we talked to out there, you know, has a great deal of respect for coach and um you know, so you know, you you're gonna have to be prepared to play against them. I, my first thought is that they are very deliberate, um, but you know, with size and tried to pound it in. But we, we, you know, I think we held them to 49. And but again, that's at our place. They're a year older. Um, you know, they're scoring. They're scoring some points. You can you look at their championship game. I think what was it? I don't know. One at no, their last game of the year, they had 90 something. Yeah. Or 110. Yeah, so they they can score some points and um, you know so you, whoever you play you got to you got to be ready to play. Bruce, in a tournament game, does, does Irvine being six hours away from San Jose have any bearing whatsoever? Our, our goal is to get out there uh, to Tuesday night if we can, and um, you know it. You know we if you look at us, we've been pretty good on the road, and that's I kind of said to them road dog mentality. Um, you know, I hope our experience, our guys being through it before, um, not the first time, I hope that has a bigger impact than, uh, and, and the schedule we played. Now, they played Utah State. They played St. Mary's. You know, I, Toledo's a good team. They played some people, but, you know, not the grind that, that we have played. And, uh, you know, hopefully that will prepare us. It was about this time last year, uh, Bruce, that um, Xavier kind of came out for you guys and, comes off at Big 12. Where is he at right now in his development, and what's he been able to give you? I think I've kind of talked to you. Somebody asked a few weeks ago or whatever. His, I think his all-around game is better. Obviously, his defensive uh, you know, abilities to stop people, a variety of people. We put him on the point guard. We put him on the four. We put him on the three. You know, he, you know, the other night, if you go really study, I know Shaq made some tough shots late, but um, in the guts of the game, you know, he did a great job on Shaq. I can did you know defended him he you know he wasn't in there late because he was kind of hurting uh boogered up there you know just two nights in a row I think the whole thing kind of took its toll uh you know so you know I think defensively he's better he's he's rebounding better a key rebound you know he it was when they hit the three and Xavier wasn't in there and and if you think about a lot of games late in the games who goes gets that that rebound and he he's the one so hopefully you know, we a couple extra days of rest. He can get healthy, um, you know, because he can give us that part. And then he, you know, his versatility of, of being able to score the basketball, uh, you know, outside, inside. You know, he he didn't shoot it real well um, on on Friday night, but uh, he had some good looks. And and you know, he's I think he's advanced his games in a lot of his game in a lot of ways. You just alluded to it a little bit, but how much of an advantage is it getting a Friday? I think for our sake, it's probably a good thing. I, there's no doubt, especially going across country. You know, this gives us. You know, like I said, we had. You know, even Barry was had. A, you know, he was complaining about a couple things, and you know, that, so this this you know not only. You know, playing uh, just playing on Friday gives you another day of rest and another day to maybe get across the country. And we've been, you know, you guys follow us. We've been pretty good. We've been trying to leave early and get to some places. And when we do, when we're able to do that, uh, our preparation focus is pretty good. Bruce, I know since last week, it was like, it was like you said a couple of times that maybe you didn't push hard enough for Xavier to be on the all-defensive team. Is it also just a matter of, does he just get overshadowed by barriers that people don't appreciate? Yeah, I think, and, you know, we're, obviously, we're pretty good defensively, us in Texas Tech, and, you know, it's, you know, they got two on, and Mooney's good, and, and the big fella's good, but, uh, you know, Xavier, I, I think part of it is he, he defends so many different people, um, and he maybe just, you know, he just, 
he locks down a lot of guys. Like Oklahoma State, we put him on the point guard. I think that was the key for us winning those games by a bunch, a big margin because other teams couldn't match up with him, and he took them inside and got to the paint easily. You know, Shyock, he's chasing around. You know, just he, he kind of guard Noy. I mean, look at Noy's numbers. You know, didn't even score one of them at at home. You know, so and I, you know, you can go down the line that um, probably definitely didn't get the the love that he should have. And you know, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I was, I guess I gave too much to Barry, if anything. So I, I don't know. It's uh, I was hoping Barry get defense player of the year, which he did. Barry is admitted something? that he actually took a day off, which is kind of rare for him. Can you just elaborate on? what it would mean to him to get a chance to recharge before Friday? Yeah, I, and I, I think, you know, we talked about Xavier a little bit. I think for Barry, it's a good thing. And, you know, he, he, this is huge for him. He works so hard. Um, you know, his he, he, this hurt and that hurt. Uh, you know, we were sitting at breakfast yesterday, and, you know, we just said, come back, get treatment, go chill, you know, play your video games, whatever you do. Today, the same thing. Um, and tomorrow, probably just shoot. So, you know, I, I hope it's a good thing for him. Do you know the uh, San Jose area very well? Do you know much about that area? I, I mean, I've been out there quite a bit. Um, obviously, we played in Sacramento. Um, you know, just been out recruiting at different times. And, um, you know, it's – I don't know. It's it, – we'll, we'll just worry about the arena and getting ready to go. And hopefully we have a nice hotel. I think we're one of the highest seeds, if not the highest in that bracket. You've been through this so many times before, Bruce, and I'm just curious about the psychology of getting victories and getting out of that first week, how, how tough that can be on, on a team. Well, I think it's with anybody, and, and you know the whole thing is you gotta get the mindset. And I've told them, and I told you guys before, one of my dis- most disappointing games of my career was in '13, playing in Kansas City, and you know I, I've, I guess I, maybe I was trying to. Uh, make them think ahead, you know, just because I brought it to, up to them at Christmas. You know, I didn't know we were going to win the league like we did in 13 and, you know, basically the same seed. And, you know, then we had to play a play-in game, right? The team that – and I, I think that gave them a little bit of advantage. But, um, you know, I hope we have them ready to go. And, and that's uh, – you know, they, they've been really good, not every game, but they've been, for the most part, our focus and consistency. You just think about how good Iowa State is, and they were 9-9 nine and nine in our league. So you, you kudos to our guys to be con- so consistent without injuries, you know, with injuries, with illnesses, all the things they went through, and yet have that consistency to win seven row games, to get 14 wins, to win a league title, come back in the, in the tournament and really, you know, Obviously, we played Iowa State to the end, and you know, you know I, I, I woke up this morning again, and I had to watch it again. And uh, we made them watch it today, part of it. So it, uh, you know, but it's all to learn and get better, and hopefully, we will be better on on Friday. How much do you think of John last year's experience? I think it's important. You know, the only thing is they can't anticipate that they're going to win, and that, and that's why I said I've. You know, foreshadowing, whatever the words are, trying to get them to think ahead. I've been trying to put things in their head about the importance of preparation, understanding your opponent, and all that stuff. They knew they played them last year. I don't think they knew the score. You guys probably maybe screwed that up and told them. I don't know. But, uh, you know, this Tom did that. Thank you, Tom. So I can blame you and not them. But, uh, uh, you know, just, you know, it, it. they have, you know, for the most part, they know how important it is and how important the preparation is. Does it, does it relieve any worry about how they play without, let's say you don't get Dean back, uh, playing without him, this last year's run without him also kind of alleviate? I think it's a great, you know, we've been through it. We've been through it this year. He didn't play five, six games, and he, a couple of the games after that, he played 15, 20 minutes. You know, we won at Iowa State with him playing – Minimal minutes and scoring two points. So, you know, the only thing is with this team, they are big. So, you know, we're this weekend, we had, you know, playing TCU and and playing Iowa State, it was more small ball. So, the you know, this is Austin, Levi. They, they're going to probably have to come through for us. With, with Dean, I know you said he's getting the exam tomorrow, but he told you at least since the – He says he feels better. is not as in as much pain as he was. Um you know, literally, I, I you know I've told you that he's done treatment. He did it today twice. So, 
uh, we'll see what the doc says and see if we can make some progress as the week goes on. How is Cardi done playing back-to-back games? I mean, just, you know, we made him work out today. He was off yesterday, and the whole point was – He's got to keep his conditioning. This is what he did was amazing. Now you know he made some mistakes and all that, and we want watch on film. You got to get better, and, you know. But you think about it, he did not have a live practice for five weeks, and he went in those two games. And that yes, they were both high level games. But I thought Friday night was a high high level game, and um, you know didn't flinch. You know, and, and he made mistakes on defense and a couple things. I think conditioning hurt. He cracked in the second half uh, he had like contortions with his he, he was cramping so bad and um, you know and that's why we brought him back you know to get some more conditioning hopefully it'll help him to have that extra day also Roots after watching the film from, from the Iowa State game uh, you know it's like there's this stat that's kind of going around got to go 15 points in 17 and a half minutes of that and then they scored 13 the last two and a half do you think anything you could have done differently or is it just Iowa State getting shots and that's well you know, I, you could look it up. I think they only scored 40 points in about a 32, 33 minute period, and then they had 23, the end of the half and the end of the game, 13 at the end of the game. So, uh, you know, they and and the one shy kid on Mike, I, he, if he gets any closer, he's kissing them or he fouls them. So, you know, it's just that dude hit one tough one. The other one's a scramble rebound. You know, and then, you know, the we made the only mistake I thought, we, one, we didn't get the rebound on the scramble rebound, but the first one out of the timeout when we're up five, we that's a switch. And they should, you know, it's that running cross screen that you see in football, you know, and if they got called on a couple times this time, you know, we just weren't physical enough with them like we had been all day, all game. And uh, that was the mistake with, you know, I think if you look at it. And then we took, you know, we – I. I the threes were wide open. You got to shoot them. But after you miss a couple, now Barry shot fake, ripped to the hoop, go get a layup, you know, try to make another play. Um, we had we had some bad possessions, I thought, at the end of the half, you know, where we held on to the ball, too many sticky fingers. Um, and we got to take advantage of our quickness, of our guard play, our, our experience. That's got to be the big thing. Do you think you'll stick with that same starting lineup? I don't know. I gotta uh, see how big they are, you know. And and I know they're big. I don't. I don't know how big. Um, and I just. I, and again, I'm just going off of last year. I just remember they had pretty good size. And they did. They did out rebound us last year, 39-37. Even though we won it by a pretty good margin, and they held us to 39% field goal percentage, which that's what they're pretty good at.